This is question number six of the grade five T and Ready Math practice test. Subpart one, no calculator, blah, blah, blah. Question is, what is the value of 384 divided by 16? I'm going to do a quick kind of estimate here to get a general feel of what type of numbers I might be looking for. You're not required to do this, but it's something that I like to do just so I can eliminate things that are probably ridiculous. I'm just going to do some quick rounds. So 400... I'm going to round that up to 400 because I'm just looking at the hundreds place and just where does it go. And then this one, I'm going to look at the tens place and this six would make it go up to 20. So 20 goes into 40 twice. So 20 goes into 420 times, which means for me this 64 is probably unlikely. I even question whether this is likely. It might be, but it seems probably not, just because I get a feel that the answer should be in the area of 24 and 23. That way, I mean, at least if you're not really sure and you have trouble remembering how to do all the pieces, you have some general feel for, oh, well, it's probably in this area, so I'm just choosing between two, and that raises my odds from 25% to 50%, which is pretty good. Now, we'll do the piece that we need here, 38 or 384, sorry, divided by 16. What I do when I get this to this point, I start to think like, okay, well, what do I have to do to make the 1 a uh, 3? So if I do 1 times 3, it gives me 3. But then I think, okay, well, what about the tens place? Well, 3 times 6 is 18, so maybe that's a, a good setup. And if you don't know, I mean, you could always do... Just draw three groups out and then count them, or count on your fingers. There's no shame in counting on your fingers to do multiplication if you just need to do it real fast. It's a test. They just want you to get to the answer with a strategy that you can redo. And as long as you have the same number of fingers, you can do it. And if you change number of fingers, you can adjust. It's fine. So let's try three here. Three times six is 18. And then I have three times one is 3, but I have to add 1, so that's 4, so that's too big. So the 8 matched, but the 3 thing didn't work because I had a number that I would carry. So I would go down from there. Let's try 2. 2 times 6 is 12. Bring up that 1 here. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 more is 3. So that's good. Just reminding myself to bring the 4 down. I do some subtraction, 8 minus 2 is 6, these cancel, so I'm left with 64. And then there's nothing to bring down here, so this is the last step. Now I have to think, okay, what do I have to multiply, the? because none of the answers have decimals here, and there's no fractions, so I know that there's going to be a whole number answer. So I have to think, what do I multiply 6 by to get something that ends in 4? Well, 6 times 1 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12, 6 times 3 is 18, 6 times 4 is 24. Hey, that sounds pretty good. So 6 times 4. I'll bring that 2 up there. And you may not even need to write that step. I tend to write way more than I probably need to, just because I tend to lose focus sometimes. So I need to be able to bring myself back into the problem if I get off on a tangent like this statement right here. So at least I know, like, okay, this 2 is what I'm going to multiply 4 times 1 and add 2. So that gives me 64. And that gets me to my answer of 24. So none of my unreasonable answers came into play at all. So doing the little estimate ahead of time made it easier for me to figure out. And also, you could have sort of gotten to the point where you're relatively sure that it's this and this, and then gone straight to, okay, is there any way I can get, um, what multiple of three can I get to be, to end in a four, and it would have to be eight. So um, it makes things a little bit more, likely that it's going to be the 4 to give you the 6, but or the 6 to give you the 4, but whatever. That's neither here nor there. It's just chat. But the best thing to do is do a little prep work ahead of time and then come back in and do your normal setup of your long division. shouldn't take too terribly long to do that, and then you get a good feel for sort of how it goes. By the way, both questions would have been exactly the same through this point. It's just right here that it really would have changed. So that 3 had not a lot of chance of working, so that's it.